why am I running for Congress? It's because we need a change all over this country. I'm running to get someone we're going to respect him because we respect our elders. That's how I was raised by my son, South Carolina mother. But I'm running against someone who is 74 years old, born in 1934. He's of a totally different era. He was born in the Great Depression. He came to office on the heels of the Civil Rights Movement. We're going to give him that respect. Am I right, you all? Back in the 1980s in Brooklyn, you saw a lot of black elected officials come into position. We'll give them that respect as well. But in 25 years in office, the question begs itself, why do we still have unemployment in places like Fort Green Projects, Marcy Projects, which Jay-Z is from, or the pink houses in East New York for young black and Latino males? The question begs itself, sisters and brothers, if you've been in office for 25 years, outside of Charlie Rangel from Harlem, is Harlem in the house? For well, we know, Charlie Rangel has been in office for almost 40 years, but at least he's the chairperson of the House Ways and Means Committee, a powerful committee in Congress. Am I right? My opponent does not chair a single committee in Congress after 25 years. I want you to think about that for a second. Why doesn't he? Because he's missed about 1,000 votes since 1993. Why doesn't he? Because he promised about a decade ago to bring an economic empowerment zone to central Brooklyn and it never happened. I can't tell you, how many of y'all from Brooklyn? <laughs> All you gotta do is drive down Fulton Street, drive down Sutter Ave, drive down Atlantic Avenue, and you see all the young people on the streets unemployed. And to me, your responsibility as a congressperson even if the legislative piece is difficult to navigate, you've got to find some creative ways outside of the legislative piece to create job opportunities for young people in our communities. 